may be hard to believe, but for 3,000 years, medicine was practiced pretty much the same. It wasn't until after World War II, with the development of antibiotics and vaccines, that medicine really changed. And what helped it change was randomized clinical trials. Those clinical trials allowed us to prove that one therapy was better than another. But decades later, clinical trials may not have all the answers. Clinical trials in cancer medicine have some limitations. Only 3% of adult cancer patients participate in clinical trials, and those that do are younger, healthier, and less diverse. That problem leaves us with 97% of patients who we really don't understand. How do we understand their patient journey? And to do that, we need something called real-world evidence tapping into the claims history and the medical records of these patients will help us understand if the way they behave is the same as the patient in the clinical trials. And what we're learning is that it's not the same. These patients may not do as well as the patients in the trials. They may get treatments at a different stage of their disease than was done in the trial. Tapping into this information will be critical in this new era of value-based care. For value-based care, manufacturers are going to want to know how these drugs are being used in the real world. Payers are going to want to determine payment based on how these drugs are being used in the real world and what outcomes are being achieved. Physicians and patients will want to know how these drugs will really affect them, not affect those who participated in the trials. Real world evidence will be the key that unlocks this 97% of the mystery about how patient care is being delivered today.